Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to remove uh, the speed wire, not sorry, not speed wire, speed browser by eager wire apps. Okay, this may have uh, taken over as your default browser and um, exposed you to all kinds of unwanted behaviors. So we're going to click on the start button. We're going to go into the control panel and we are going to go into programs and features. Okay, now in, you know, in Windows 8, uh, you might have to go to the bottom right hand corner uh, on your desktop. So the charm bar comes up and you're going to go into settings and then control panel. And then um, similarly, I think it's programs and features there. And we are going to look for speed browser in here. There it is. Okay, so when you click on it, um, Let's maximize this. So note the date that it came in, okay? So in this case, September 18th, 2014. If you click on installed on, you see up here, um, we can actually move that over a little so we can see it more clearly all the time. So click on installed on and it'll sort by the installed date, okay? And we can see if anything else came in uh, around that time. Um, like, you know, my PC backup comes in at uh, unwanted. It's nothing on the same date. Sometimes these things cluster, and that's why uh, why we're doing this. So uh, InstaShare, Begin Converter, I don't think either of those are wanted on this machine. But definitely, if it was something on the same day, you would want to, you know, carefully review whether you want to take that out as well. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead. We've clicked on it. We're going to click on Uninstall. Okay, and uh, we can choose Internet Explorer as our default browser. Go ahead and if you actually have Firefox installed, which I don't think is on this machine. Yes, it is actually. Maybe we should have picked Firefox. That's okay. Um, Firefox is generally preferable over Internet Explorer. All right, so once it's off the list, which as you saw, it took a little bit of time, um, we can go ahead and close that off there. And what was happening, I would click on Internet Explorer on this machine and that uh, speed browser would come up. But now that's cleared. Let's see, uh, reset your setting was corrupt. Okay, we do want Google there and as I mentioned with um, Internet Explorer and Firefox on the same machine probably Firefox is your best bet for a default so if you start Firefox uh, unless you've unchecked this box previously it'll say hey wait a minute wouldn't you like us to be your default browser so go ahead and say yes um, and we can see uh, that when speed browser was installed it looks like we got this trovi.com thing in here. Um, let's go ahead and fix that as well. So we're going to go tools, options, and Firefox. Actually, just so you know, you might have to right click and select a menu bar, right, you know, right click at the top here in Firefox and make sure menu bar is checked off so you can even see tools. Okay, but then you can go tools, options, and um, let's say restore to default here. Yeah. The Mozilla Firefox start page, or you can always type one in, right? Google.ca or .com or wherever you are. All right, that looks okay there. Um, we'll say okay. So now let's close Firefox and reopen it to make sure that that has taken effect. Okay, and then Google here is our is our search. Is there any? No, there's no weird search engines added. You can check that list if you. If you hit the little down arrow here and you get a bunch of junk in here, um, that isn't you know an official search engine, but some unwanted search engine that's hooked itself in. You can always click on Manage Search Engines, you know, select whatever it is. Say for example, people may not like Bing, and you could hit Remove and kill that. Okay, we'll cancel that. Um, but anyway, that's that's the basics. Uh, it's not too hard to remove the speed browser. You just have to know to go into your control panel. 
On Windows XP, it would be Add Remove Programs instead of Programs and Features. But you got to get in there and and remove it. And then um, definitely check and make sure that your home page and your default search, like an Internet Explorer tools, Internet Options. Um, nope. I'm lying to you. Tools, of course, sorry, tools, uh, manage add-ons. Okay, bit of a different area here. We can go to search providers and look, it crashes. All right, isn't that interesting? That'll have to be fixed. I'll have to look in that, but but um, essentially, if your browser's not crashing, you go into your manage add-ons, click on search providers, and uh, you'll see the list there. If you see anything like that Trovi or something weird that's not you know Google or Yahoo or Bing or, or whatever you enjoy, uh, you can you can remove those and also you can go to um, well let's just go there now uh, let's say IE Gallery if you search for that on Google um, this is where you can find a hook in. What do you call it? Search engines, right? So we can search for Google here. So we'll add to Internet Explorer, Google search. Add to Internet Explorer, make this my default. This is what we want, right? So I say upgrade. In this case, since I had an older one in there. So now when I search from the bar up here, you know, for say the Beatles or whatever, then we should get a nice Google result. Okay, good stuff. Let's see if it's still crashing. Tools, manage add-ons, search providers. Oh, there we go. So we only have the one entry. Maybe it didn't like being empty. There you go, a little bit of browser cleanup and removal of that awful uh, Eager Wire Apps speed browser. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.